Hello everybody, I'm Halkyofan08 and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. Last time, we met up with the badass merchant slash pot dealer, Raz, and he also joined us to a trip to the Sylph Cavern. What will we find in here, I wonder? Well, let's find out today. <laughs> I just have to say, I love the music of this place. Sakuraba, you're a god. Now, everybody have that one dungeon they don't really remember how to get through or don't remember the whole thing. Well, this is mine. I can never remember this dungeon. Hey, those are inferior guards. Oh, great. Let me speak to them. Wait here for a moment. That's a interesting conversation there. Dot 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 dot. I wonder if Ras can convince them to let us through. I don't know. Inferior guards can be as stubborn as as mules. Yes, indeed. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's enter, shall we? Wow, really? Wow, did you manage to reason with them? You're such a salesman. You must be a great talker. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> you bet! Ras is really something. Dot dot dot. Let's go, Reed. Don't you find this strange? It shouldn't be this easy to enter land annexed by the king. I guess, but... It's his aura. The guards probably trust his aura. Aura? Come on, Reed, hurry! First things first, let's go find a wind cramel. Are you sure we will find a wind cramel here, Farah? Hmm? Oh, great. Okay, new enemy, I let's believe. Melting pot. These are... Annoying. <laughs> oh, and the Raz in battle is a lot like Reed. Let's see, no. He got Neo Swarm, Dragon Swarm, Super Lightning Blade, and Dragon Flash. Dragon Flash is a cool as hell skill. It is so nice. Let's see if I can make him use it. Come on, Raz. Dragon Flash. Yeah, and he's incredibly strong too. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> I believe those, or I think those parts can actually poison you. I'm not entirely sure though. So this is the gimmick of this place. You have to do, wait for the wind to pop up. Come on. And walk into it and you will be thrown up for some reason. That's some incredibly powerful wind at least. This, open this chest for a storm shield. Now it's not as good as the kite shield we got, but well, it's, uh, it protects you against wind, and in a place called the Sylph Cavern, I think that's pretty good. So, equip it. You won't regret it. Hopefully you got a lot of holy bottles, because this place is a little bit long. Okay, we have to go through this, get a little bit damaged, to press on. Oh, great. Yeah, you can't jump down a hole where the wind is blowing. It's too strong. Okay, if we go, try to go over here, we will be taken by the wind and thrown back to the beginning. So, check this stone. You can't cross here, this wind is too strong. What are we supposed to do? Stand back. Huh? A rope, huh? Yeah, I never really understood it. How do people always hit with those? In movies, games, every everywhere. I... Apparently, I really suck at that. Now, if we hold on to this rope as we cross, we'll be fine. Pretty handy item you got there. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, let's just press... check this thing again. There we go. And we will... Well, cross it. <laughs> and we have to wait for the wind again. Great. No. Wow, this one is... picky. <laughs> More tornado. Skip it, thank you. We got a melange gel, very nice. Moving on. Now, I have to ask, how many of you have actually watched the movie Wreck'n Ralph now? Oh, great. Because I heard that movie was very good. 
But unfortunately, the movie doesn't come to Europe until February next year. What the heck? Why? I, it's one of my the movies that I'm looking most forward to. Anyway, being exposed to wind for a long time can take a lot out of you. What do you think? Maybe it's time to get some rest. Huh? I'm still feeling great. When you push too hard, you'll wind up having accidents. Uh, get it? Wind? Wind? Uh, let's get some rest. Fine. You bet! Reed, your swordplay is impressive. You have a unique style. Where did you learn it? Self-taught. I'm a hunter. And still you guys got at least one skill in common. Music is way too loud. It actually is louder than the voices, so if you can't hear it, then it's not my fault. Ah, this is a compass cable. Compass key? Yeah, multi pass. Yes, a compass key. It's a key with mysterious power that leads you to the right path. Hey, I heard about those. So that's what they look like. Raz, so where does your path lead you? Earning money, of course. After all, a merchant. <laughs> Good point. If I may ask, why do you all want to meet the Greater Kramals? So there, I barely heard that he said Greater Kramals. Huh? Is that strange? To want to meet them? Yes, because they can kick your ass in one, two, three. It doesn't seem to be mere curiosity. I feel that there's a, a sense of purpose. Ras knows much. With greater Kramels, he will. Well, well, wait a minute, Merity. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> Right. Thankfully, they tell off screen or not. You wish to form a pact with the Greater Kramers to save the world from the Grand Fall. Please believe us. I know this goes against all reasoning, but you seem joyful, sir. I may have been waiting for a day like this to come for a long time. Oh, I believe you. It makes me happy to think that I just might save the lives of people around the world. And... Yes? It makes me feel at ease. You want to be special? Oh. That's the gist of it. Knowing that my efforts help to bring happiness to others makes me feel... comfortable. I've always felt this way. I see. Those are deep moments. What is it that has made you so downhearted? From what do you run? Run? Me? How rude! Nothing. How rude! Really? Well, dried up slug carcasses aren't exactly my favorite, but that's about it. <laughs> I understand. I will broach the subject no more. You better. But it's the truth. I'm sorry, my dear. Thank you for the interesting chat. Let us sleep. We have an early morning. Yeah. Good night. So now Ras knows everything, apparently. And why don't you recover my TP? Even though I haven't really lost that much. Eh, whatever. Now, I'm stuck in this screen, where do I have to go? Well, go to the corner. That one, I don't know, first time through here, that tripped me up so bad. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. 
But yeah, Wrecking Ralph. Why do we have to wait over three months before we get it here? That is so stupid. No. And I heard it's a very good movie too. Why? It's not fair. Sometimes I really, really hate being European. So I really hope that I get that one job I applied for. You see, I applied for a job in Canada. I get him a lunch chill. As a game tester. So that would be amazing. So, uh, yeah, cross your fingers for me. <laughs> I might need it. Varg. It would be like a dream being a getting paid by playing games. Wow. Well, if I... Uh, if I ever get partnership pair on YouTube, I guess that would be the same, but still, it would be cool. Now, do not walk over here if or over that bridge if you want that treasure chest. Walk around. We get an assault dagger. Now, this thing is actually very good. Let's see. There we go. You see? It's pretty strong. But, just like the Hydra dagger in Undini's stream. This thing is win elemental. And once again, as a place called Sylph Cavern, I don't think a wind elemental weapon is the best idea. But it's a very good weapon though. Okay, let's get this thing, this little bag. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna jump down here and anyway. Let's do it. Ew, mad eels. I hate these guys. They are ugly, they are not really strong, but man, they are annoying. Because they block a lot. But they don't really do much here, it seems. Okay, I'm not complaining. Wasn't... Really, it wasn't that bad this time. <laughs> hey, Ras leveled up. Nice. Oh, right, and... Uh, you can't take away Raz's weapon. It's not that good anyway, so it's no biggie. But you can give him more equipment if you want. Which I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take away his talisman. A free talisman is never bad, is it? Let's see. Wait. Where's my... Didn't Kiel have a talisman? Didn't I have another talisman? I guess Kiel had it. Kiel had it then. Oh well. Now, let's jump down here. Whee! Yes, you fall down. And to this, a mental ring. Which is pretty cool. Let's see. Periodically regenerates TP by 1% of max. So that's pretty nice. So I... I'm gonna give that to Meredith for now. But what shall we do now? We are stuck here. Oh, well, let's just move on. Sudden gust of wind. Whoa! Spin, spin, spin. Uh, I'm dizzy. So, as you see, we are now back at the beginning. So, I will go back to where we jumped down off screen. Okay, we are back here now. And before jumping down that hole, let's go, go over here and check this wall and you will get lens number 18 now you s there's one thing that I remembered some episodes ago that I <laughs> kind of forgot to mention there is one lens in this game that is kind of missable because of all the wrong reasons if you change the difficulty at all before you get that lens you will not be able to get it this is, of course, a glitch. I will tell you, uh, well, which one, what l lens it is when I get it. Thankfully, though, uh, you don't. You only need 50 lenses to get the to get all the rewards that you get by lenses. But of course, there's a title you get by finding all 60 lenses, so you will be missing out on that one. So if you already change your difficulty, well, I'm sorry. No title for you. And I don't think... Stupid game, let me talk! And I don't think they fixed the glitch in the PSP release. So, yeah. That's kinda lazy. Let's see. Go over here to get the needle gloves that I told you about. Not Told you not to buy, because we would get one here. 
Very nice. Oh, let's continue on with my little rant about being European, shall we? I got more, believe me. Now this, okay, this is not really by a rant about being European. This is more a Norwegian rant. But first, let's get this Arc Wind. Another pretty good weapon. But, as you might guess by the name, is Wind Elemental, so don't equip it. Okay, back to the rant. Some of you might know that I'm Norwegian, which is why my English isn't really that good. And, like a lot of people, I pre-ordered the Wii U. And, uh, in, like, America, you can get a Wii U and some games for around, I don't know, $400, I believe. Do you know how much I have to pay for my pre-order of the Zombie U bundle and new Super Mario Bros. U? If I take what I have to pay, the Norwegian currency, and change it to US dollars, I have to pay $700 for the console and one game. How the hell is that fair? It's not. It's fucking stupid. Anyway though, we are here at a load point, which means stuff is gonna go down. But that have to wait until the next episode. So, I'm Palke Finoate. I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later. <laughs>